Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about combining like terms, and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, 11r minus 12r. So, 11r minus 12. Well, hmm, this one's a little tricky. Okay, so let's go look at our number line. I like to go with the number line on this one. So, if I had a positive 11 here, and this is 0, okay, and I start with 11, all right, here's my starting spot, and I move it to the left, subtract 12 units. Well, if I jump all the way to 0, that's minus 11 units, right? Well, I'm one more, one more away to get to the minus 12 units, right? So at negative 1, one more jump here, at negative 1, I have minus 1 with a total of minus 12. Okay, so negative 1 is my end point down here. So we went from 11, subtracting 12, got us to negative 1. And so our final answer is negative 1r, but we only write just r, it's just negative r, because when we have a variable, we don't put a, uh, just one variable, we don't put the coefficient 1 in front of it. It's not as clean. So again, let's recap. We start with 11r minus 12r. If we're good in practice and you've seen this multiple times, you'll know that it's just going to be negative r. But What's really going on is we started with 11, right? 11R and set 11. We subtracted uh, 12 from it, so we jumped really quickly. Uh, minus 11 gives us to 0. It's an easy calculation. Then one more jump brings us to negative 1. And so our final answer, because our negative 1 plus negative 11 is negative 12, that's how much we subtracted, right? Subtracted 12R, 12 of them. We, have, we end with a negative 1. And so negative 1R, or negative R, which is cleaner, is our final answer.